Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to auto color your tracks in Reaper. So in order to use this feature, we need to install the SWS extensions. So make sure you go to this website, donate to them if you find this useful, and just download the version you need over here. And once it's installed, we can then open Reaper. And if we installed it correctly, we should have an extra menu over here called extensions. And if we choose it, we can see there's an auto color menu right here. If we choose it, it opens up this dialog. Where we could auto color our tracks, markers, or regions very easily. But let's start by creating some tracks. Double click over here. Let's make about seven of them. And we can see by default, they're all gray. And we can change that in this dialog. Let's first go down here to the options and make sure we turn on enable auto track coloring, auto marker coloring, auto region coloring, and auto track icon if you want that. If we don't turn those options on, we have to force it right here each time. So this works by creating rules over here. Let's add a new rule. We'll choose the rule type by right clicking, whether it be track, marker, or region. Let's use track and a filter over here. We could type in the names of our tracks, but let's first right click it and see all the options over here. Any, unnamed, folder, children, and so on. We could choose these to auto color our tracks by default based on their behavior. But let's start with any. And let's give it a color, right click, set color, and let's choose this pinkish color right here. And now, by default, all our tracks are that color. But let's add another rule. Add rule, and this one will choose if our tracks are record armed. And if we choose it, we can give it a color. Let's choose red. Now, if we put our track into record, the track color should change to that color. But if you notice, that doesn't happen. That's because these rules are in order of priority. Let's put this one above the any one. And now, record armed has priority over any. So now, put our tracks into record, the track color changes to that red. Take them out, it goes back to any. So in that way, we can create priorities for these rules. But let's delete these for now, remove, let's add some based on naming our tracks. Add a rule, we'll name this kick, give it a color, let's choose this green, Let's do another one for snare. And overheads. And we use the same color for each. And now, if we name our tracks with these names, they're going to automatically change to this color. Kick, snare, and overheads. And the colors change automatically because we turned on Enable Auto Track Coloring right here. But let's name these tracks Bass, Guitar Left and Right, and Vocal. Now we can create rules for those as well. Bass, Guitar, and Vocal. Let's give those a color. Choose this blue one for Bass. This one for guitar, and this one for vocals. And notice automatically they changed because they've auto color turned on. It's a great time saver as we rename our tracks, the colors change automatically. And if we change the names of our tracks, they auto change to the rule we set up. If we put it back to kick, it goes back to that color. 
And besides using colors, we could also use icons. Let's add to our rule for kick, load the icon. We'll search kick right here. And that puts an icon automatically over here. For our kick, let's do another for snare. Another for our overheads. Let's do it for bass. For guitar. And for vocal. And that puts icons on our track automatically. Again, if we change it to something else, the colors change along with that icon. And notice, even though these tracks are named guitar left and guitar right, they still follow the rule of guitar, because guitar was in the beginning of the name. So you can name it guitar one, guitar two, and so on, and they're all going to be colored this way. But I personally don't use icons, so I'm going to clear this option. And now we don't see our icons, just the colors. But keep in mind, the color of our tracks also affects the default color of our media. So if we create some media here, it defaults to the track color we chose. So it's automatically going to color our items. And if we change the color afterwards, it automatically changes our tracks and the items to that color based on the name of our track. Let's put it back to this color and it changes it automatically based on the name of the track, which we put in the rule. And this is also going to work for markers and regions. Let's create a marker at bar one, shift M. We'll name it intro. Create another one at bar five. We'll name it verse. And another one at bar nine. We'll name it chorus. And notice by default, these markers are red. But we can change their colors individually or do it automatically with this feature. Let's create a rule. But this time, we'll choose marker, we'll use the name intro, and give that a color. We'll choose a bluish color, and that changes that marker to be that blue. Let's add another one for verse. We'll color that this greenish color, and it changes that marker to green, and another one for our chorus. And we'll make this one reddish. So it automatically changes the markers to the colors we chose. It'll still work if we name it verse 1, 2, or 3, as long as the text verse is in there. And if we change it to a chorus, it automatically changes to that color. And back. And this will work with regions as well. Let's delete these markers. Let's create regions instead. From bar one to five, shift R, put another one here, and another one here. And let's name them intro, verse, and chorus. And we can create a new rule based on regions. But to save time, let's just change these rules to be regions instead. And we can see our regions are colored based on the colors we chose, intro, verse, and chorus. And if we change the name of our regions, the colors change automatically. It's a great time saver when you want to use the same colors for different markers or regions without having to choose them each time. Now, there's one other thing I want to show you. Let's create a few more tracks. Let's make two. Let's say we're using these as effects returns. Let's choose our drums, hold down shift, and send them to the first track. And let's choose our guitars and vocals and send those to the second track. So now these two tracks are effects returns, which we could send these tracks to. But let's go to Auto Color, create a rule, right click, and base it on receives. So now we can create a color right here. Let's choose this yellow. 
and then automatically changes the color of these receives because we're sending different tracks to it. So it could be a bus or an effects return, but automatically it'll have these colors. Again, it's a great time saver for coloring our tracks, our markers, or regions. So that's pretty much it. That's how to auto color in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.